Hello. My name, my name is Hiro. Hey, my name is Hiro, and I'm gonna try to teach you about delay cancels using skills in game. The skills you can use are shield, anchor, block, and invisible. Fascinating hindwell. First off, what not to do. You don't want to jump around in one small place while you're spamming your gun. You usually end up getting shot a lot and you usually die. Like so. This is a show of the regular delay between a shot and the dodge in between, which is what you want to do. We can make it faster if we cancel the delay. Same here, we're showing it with another weapon. What you're going to want to do is shoot, hit the shift button, and then dodge. And you can repeat that and daisy chain it if you feel like it. I don't recommend doing it all the time just because you use up a lot of your SP. But you know, when people are aiming for you and they're about to dodge, it's useful. It works on all long range weapons, it doesn't work on melee. I haven't tried it with the Nels or something. Feel free to skip this part if you need to. Now one thing you're going to notice is it doesn't take that much SP. Not much more than a dodge really, so it's really useful. You don't want to use it all the time, but when you're about to die, when you're getting shot at, it helps you stay alive. The only thing that's really going to be slowing you down is the startup of your weapon. So with the submachine gun, it's really useful. You can see here I'm going to be using the block, which it's possible to do it. It's just not really practical because it eats up about half of your SP. You're going to find it's the same with Anchor, but there's a different way to do that. Now with a heavy machine gun, it's really useful if you want to switch to another weapon right away because the cooldown is so long. You like hands will get you to that weapon a lot quicker if you need to switch out. Now with the anchor, you can actually just tap the anchor right after you shoot, and that'll pretty much do just a, a double jump in midair. Without the dodge, it doesn't take up that much SP, so it's handy sometimes, not always. I left the railgun for last just because it's a bit different. It works the same as others with the dodge after the cancel. But what you're going to notice is you can actually cancel out your shots if you do the dodge and cancel too early. You see here I'm not shooting anything, but the clip is going down. You can also use, oh well, this only works with the shield, you can also use it just to do a rapid shot right after. Shoot, shift twice, just to activate and deactivate the shield, and shoot again. I'll do it again here one more time for you. And when we do that faster, you know, use your imagination, and it works with weapons that charge up. One thing you can also do is while you're charging, if you find there's no enemy to kill, you can just hit shift one time and then dash out of it. So you don't waste a shot. I use this if I, whenever I tend to run the ball. Kind of again. It's useful also to switch to melee. Hey, you don't want to spam railgun shots like I just did, but you get the point. You'll notice here there's more than one enemy shooting, but since we're dodging a lot, even the mine shock doesn't really hit me. It's really dangerous the railgun. 
you got good aim, you kill people really easy. Right here, he's not really aiming at me, but it's good to get into a good position. Better spot for your shot. Thanks guys for watching. See you again.